Guy, guys, I'm I'm scared. There's a lot. <laughs> There's so much happening, bro. Welcome back to the channel. We have episodes 461 and 462 of our One Piece watch through today. It is go time. Moby Dick has shown up. Whitebeard ship. And we found out that Ace's real dad is none other than Gold D. Roger, the previous king of the pirates. But Whitebeard has shown up on the Navy's front lawn. And I guess it's go time. I'm so terrified. Let's just get going. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub for my sake and let's get started. Oh, it just like pops off. Where's the man himself? Oh wait, they have more underwater. Where's the man himself? Two, three, four, four movie dicks. Oh, there's one like main one and then, okay, I see. Oh my gosh, this is insane. First division commander, Marco. Oh my gosh, 14 commanders. Oh my gosh, everybody's here. They coming for their boy, baby. It's him. It's him. Look at Double Mingo's face. <laughs> there he is. The Giga Chad himself. This is madness. Look at him stand in front of everyone. His laugh. My beloved son. <laughs> it's the presence he gives off. Kobe, not too late to switch sides, buddy. Yeah, you didn't even stop him, man. This went underwater. So how did the gate open? I love Luffy and his just ragtag crew is just gonna show up behind everyone. Your father is here or not. Yeah, I don't even really think about if Dragon would come or not. That's true. Oh, he does know. Oh my gosh, he knew already. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, so we never brought it up. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm glad it cleared that up. I, I, I was wondering since they revealed it. He's worried about everyone. God. Oh, what's he doing? Whoa! What is he doing? What the hell is this? He's distorting the sea? What does that even mean? How? Oh, his crew looks badass. Oh my gosh, man. This is fucking crazy. Aww. So that's when he left. And then the next time he saw him was Alabasta. Oh, man. It's some backstory. Started his crew. <laughs> that <laughs> bastard! <laughs> Made a name for himself. Very quickly. D. D. You've known about him for a while. <laughs> they offered him to be a warlord? Uh, it's not that shocking, though. They see someone powerful and jump on him. Oh, shoot. When he met Shanks. Oh, shoot. Super rookie. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this is after that. That makes sense. Uh... Yeah, me either, apparently. Apparently, I know nothing. So he planned on Luffy being like surpassing him either way by beating the strongest man. His plan was to beat Whitebeard? Oh my gosh! No way that he beat Jinbei. Jinbei seems so strong. Oh, I guess it's Ace. And I feel like Jinbei's uh, prime is when he's in the water. Five days! They were an even match for five days straight, bro. Oh, he did beat him. Oh, never mind. They tied. And that's when Whitebeard showed up. Ah. <laughs> he just saw him as like this young prodigy. Dude. Is that like his hockey? Or one of the like sacrifice himself in a fight against the Whitebeard, bro. Just to prove that he was strong. I'm guessing he just saw him, yeah. It's like this young talent. He didn't stand a damn chance, man. He could have killed him right there if he wanted to. Maybe he thought he did at first. 
<laughs> we saw this this flashback a long time ago. I don't remember when. We saw this flashback though. Now I just have the full perspective. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, maybe there's more to it. I don't know. God, the straw hats are missing uh, so much lore at this point. It's crazy. They probably have no idea what's going down. Well, they don't. We've seen where they are and what's going on. He just took him and put him on his ship? God's massive, man. I, saw, I don't remember it looking like that when we saw Whitebeard. Maybe it was just like he was on like an alternate ship or something beforehand. Fourth Division Commander. Thatch. Aww. He just won it off. What? <gasps> oh, they took all of his crew. Nah, dude, they wait to join. Also, yeah, they wouldn't need him anyways. They're that much stronger. So why was he hooked up to these machines and stuff? Was he just that old? Oh my god, he actually got into his room? Ace! Oh my god! I love how he doesn't even need security or anything when he's sleeping with all these machines tied uh, tied to him. He's just that powerful. And he just goes right back to bed. Oh my gosh, I love Whitebeard so much. No way he kept trying. And Ace just got alpha over and over again. You gotta give it to him. Yeah, he didn't give up. He tried to kill Whitebeard over a hundred times. Dog, what like flipped the switch in his head to where he really sees him as his father now? Oh, thanks, Sanji. Maybe he saved them. Oh. That's Dang. God, he has to feel even more guilty now. The fact that they came for him and people will die. Oh, that's gotta be a painful tattoo. And now he's he's one of the family. I mean, he was already cracked beforehand. Oh my gosh, I was just about to say. Damn. Commander is how different times were. God damn. Man, everybody, you're so chill and nice. Your family. Is he gonna like apologize or something? Oh, they tell him about being Roger's son? Oh, yeah. Oh, he probably had respect for Roger. He doesn't care who he's related to, he's his own person. Yeah. Holy Giga Chad. Can we get back to the fact that he was like warping the sea? God dang, Blackbeard, man. Oh my god, the whole bone! God, he's just so much like Luffy. I don't get it. It doesn't even make sense. So I kind of want an, an explanation on the S still. The ace, the S marked out. And so it began. He falls asleep. And Whitebeard's crew just get, get, grew stronger and stronger. It was a headache for Sengoku. So all it took was, I mean, I guess Ace learning Whitebeard's character to gain respect for him and what he did for all his crew, that he grew gained respect for him too. <gasps> Look at Blackbeard's face! Oh my gosh! Did he kill Thatch, bro? He's the one holding it, right? No shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. He set out just immediately. He said it was an exception part because he knew Blackbeard was so dangerous. Oh, man. He probably feels even more guilty now since Whitebeard didn't even tell him to go. He had a bad feeling. Even though that was like a strict, like, you do not do that. Whitebeard knew. Oh, man. He was not stopping him. Dude, that's the last they saw of him until now. Jeez. Dude, how does that power even work? Does he like genuinely control the sea? He's the pirate, bro. Yeah, I thought he felt guilty, but now, my goodness. What?
Okay, so I'm assuming that Whitebeard just straight up wants to take the entire pressure off of Ace's back. Like, he doesn't want him to feel guilty. When we just saw, he he told him not to go, clearly. It's so crazy to see, like, the origins of that and the perspective of everything. And speaking of which, where is Blackbeard now? He recruited, uh, what's his name, Shiryu from uh, Impel Down. But are they even going to show up? They could be, like, a sort of a wild card in this war if they do show up. Especially because he's, I think, from my perspective, the most powerful uh, devil fruit user that we've seen thus far i mean seeing white beards his is pretty insane too episode 462 let's get it oh my heart is like <laughs> pounding it just came from because he's family it is. <laughs> they both know what's true. Oh my gosh. I mean, maybe he's just saying because he like instilled that in him. Oh gosh. Dude, it's just about to pop off, man. All the ships in the back too. Finally, he speaks. Oh my gosh. Kako Moria! Yeah, I don't know, man. 100,000 soldiers. I wouldn't call all of them elite, I'm gonna be honest. It's gonna be just mayhem. <laughs> don't let me go, I swear to God. That's what I expect from Mihawk for some reason. I don't I don't see him agreeing with anything the Navy does. He's just here as a position. Same for Boa, too. I think they're here for appearances. Aww. Luffy. She knows he's coming, yeah. She trusts that he made it out of Impel Down. He's just like booking it this way. Are we just gonna move past Whitebeard's power? Is he doing it again? Wait, the sea level is dropping. Wait, oh, is it because the door is closing? Those guys are just going flying by. Oh my gosh. No! My waterworks. Oh, they're good. I figured it was from the doors closing. It was just drawing air. I don't, I don't know though. No! Oh. Jimbei knows. Ah, what is it? Hello? Oh, wait, it stopped. Oh, they made it like an indent. <laughs> Says you, buggy. If the time is right. Okay, buddy. You don't receive the title of King of the Pirates on a whim, buggy. I'm sorry, bro. His magnificent confidence. Dude, they just, they, they just like about everything he does. What do they see? Even Mr. Three isn't affected. Brother, we all escaped Impel Down! He's just scared. He doesn't want to admit it. On well, the current back, is it pushing them forward? What is happening? Are we not even going to find out who opened the gates in the first place? The cloud? What? It sounded like something crashed. Brother, what is happening? Do we know how strong, especially like Kizaru and Aokiji are too? We don't even know the third admiral. We don't even know what Sengoku is capable of. We have all the warlords. It seems stacked in the Navy's favor. They have Django for God's sake. Yeah, the water's going back. What was happening? Oh, is it a wave? Don't Flamingo just looks so excited to be here. Oh, he set up like a, a he set up a tsunami by altering the waves. Oh my gosh! Just to cause more chaos. Tremor, tremor fruit. Bro! He can cause tremors! Oh my gosh! Wow, Sengoku is actually like that shaky on this? Oh my gosh! And everybody's just seeing this. Well, at uh, Saba Odi at least. Brother. Is that what caused the doors to open then? The gates? The music, man. It breaks my heart that the Straw Hats are with Luffy, though. The two greatest forces. There will be casualties. Oh, man, I hope T-Bone makes it out of this alive. He's the most important Navy man to me, aside from Kobe. Ah! I'm exhausted and nobody's even fought yet, man. <laughs> Luffy's not even there yet. And why is there an ore ship? 
This is gonna crash down on the HQ! You can't stop that! None of the warlords could for sure. Maybe Aokiji can freeze it. <laughs> Dude, that is a crazy devil fruit. None of them are faltering. Oh, hey, what did I say out of anyone? He was the only one I could think of that could stop it. Dude. Oh, that looks nuts. Holy. Aokiji. Young squirt. This is madness, bro. <laughs> He's firing the first shots? Whoa, he can just like manipulate like space time itself. That is such a sick power. He tremors like the air itself. Oh my God, he's freezing the whole ocean. I think he's kind of protecting so that the ships can't get any closer though. Yeah, he's he's sticking Moby Dick right where it is. Now they have a path to, to the land, though. This is it, dude. Really? Because you seem scared. Or you just saw that man tremor the earth itself, and you're saying there's no reason to be scared. Here we go. So it begins. Look how confident this man is. Not even faltering. The definition of Giga Chad. Look at him. It's like another Tuesday. Oh my God, it's starting. There they go. Everybody. Oh, what about all the other ships, too? Go, Falter, go! Oh my gosh. Dude, that guy is sick. This dual blades. Lord Sour Vista. Oh, she gonna fight him? Oh, dude. There's Smoker right behind her. I actually do care so much about Smoker and Tashigi, too. Yeah, they're the Whitebeard crew, man. Nobody you've ever met will like them. Guarantee it, except maybe the Straw Hats. Yeah, Okichi inherently kind of helped them. Oh, there's one of the Vice... No, these are the Vice Admirals. These are the guys that were on the Buster call in East Lobby. And he's the one that went and got Boa Hancock. Oh, my gosh. Except for a Buster call, man. Have some tea or something from a comfortable distance. <laughs> True. Holy. Dude, they're all ready to die for this. Oh my gosh. So now all the other crews are making it too. And Whitebeard's just staring at Sengoku. Mihawk? Is he not going to be on the sideline? No shot. I, I would hope he doesn't fight for the Navy, man. I know he's a warlord, but still. True distance. Mm. Oh, dang. Yeah, Zoro didn't. Even when he first met him, wanted to fight him. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Black Sword Knight. 12 highest. Are they all that big? She knows everything about it. Oh, she, cause she's a, swords, a swordsman. It's so beautiful. No. No. Miyok, you're supposed to be one of the good ones. Who's going to stop it? One of them's going to stop it. Maybe Whitebeard? Whitebeard can't do everything. I guarantee you that will not hit him, though. <sighs> this show is cruel. It's genuinely cruel. And so the god dang war begins, bro. The stakes have never been like this. In all 462 episodes, the stakes have genuinely never been higher. It's so awesome that we built to this point where we know such a wide cast of characters and care about them in different ways and know all their abilities individually one by one and can weigh fights here and there. Mihawk from episode, I mean, when was it? It was Baratie, like 14 or 15 of the show. We know how powerful he was. It was established way back then and it comes into play now. Aokiji, who we met before water seven we know his powers that's how i was able to be like okay he has the ability to stop this it's just like it's it's a balance of knowing what you know to guess how the situation is going to go and then just the, the surprise of however fights end up in each person's favor it's chaos and i just love it so much but that's the beauty of one piece is the world building and the building up of fights and characters it sounds like such a fanboy right now but it's just it's all built to this this coming off the back of impel down which already felt like a mini version of this but guys, that's been it for episodes 461 and 462 of our One Piece watch through. The, the war is full-fledged now. People are, are clashing. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop us up, and I will catch you guys in the next one.
Peace, peace.